Well, hello and welcome. It is time once again to try to fix something, and today we're going to be taking a look at another PS5 that is not well, and I do have things connected. Let's just get right into it and we'll see what we're looking at. I think this is a 1015 model. Dead, dead, dead. Totally dead. So, dead power supply? Maybe. Uh, shorter capacitor on the main board? Maybe. Dead south bridge? A uh, definite possibility. Let's get some covers off. All right, the outer side cover is off. And that is not a factory warranty seal. So has this been previously worked on, repaired? I don't know, because that's not factory. Um, screws look like they're here. But, yeah, it's been through somebody else's hands, I do believe. Let me get on into it. All right, we're a little further in. And I do think somebody has been in here. You can see the tape torn right there on that ribbon cable. Uh, little things, like that tape down there is out of place. So yeah, we're not the first ones in here, but that I wasn't expecting to be. Ribbon cables are connected, looks like. So, hmm. Let's just see. Let's just see for the heck of it. Do we have 12 volts? I tried checking 5 volts there, I know, earlier, or in a previous video, and I, I don't think you have 5 volts right on this uh, connector. But you should have 12 if the supply is working. Oh, well. There's was a 12 on the other end? I can't remember. Let's see, I've got ground. Yeah. I'm in DC volts. Where's my voltage? Nothing there. Hmm. Oh. Power cord. Sorry. Try it again. I unplugged it when I was disassembling it. Now what do we have? Nothing. And still nothing. Huh. Okay. Let me unplug it. Do we have a short? I'm in continuity mode. No. And no. So no absolute short on the 12. Or on the 5. Well, when I think at 5 is switched, so I probably wouldn't notice it. But Hmm. Well, I'm afraid the... Uh, Metal cover is going to have to come off. Yep. Well, I have made it down to the circuit board. Let's see if we can check this 12 volt supply and check it right on these terminals. If I can do this, I'll uh, get my ground over here maybe. Uh, which one of these is the hot one? See, it's the inside one. Nothing. That's ground. So we have no 12 volts. And if I unplug this, um, let's see, is that, yeah, that's continuity mode. Do we have a short? No, it doesn't seem like it. So we just have a bad power supply. Okay. Now let's see if a power supply will fix that. And then we'll see if we can fix the power supply. All right, well, I... I plugged in a replacement power supply and it just kind of came on. I didn't hit the power button because it's not even connected. So I'm not sure how I triggered it to come on, but it's on and she's working. So we have a bad power supply. Okay, well, that's good to know. That's all it is. So uh, hmm, I'm not sure why it turned on on its own. But there's our power supply we need to fix. Um, we'll see if we can get that inside and get that going. All right, I wanted to show you, well, I do have it on. It's come up to this screen here, and I'm not sure why. I've never seen that before. I can, I've got a controller hooked to it. It just doesn't seem to do a whole lot of anything. Hmm, I hooked a network cable to it to see if it would try to uh, do something. It did not. I think what I'm going to do is try to bring it up in safe mode and reinstall the software. 
See if she'll shut down. So, yeah, some weird behavior there, but maybe something's corrupted. Well, I do have a flash drive with some software on it. One of these. Let's see if that'll do us any good. Uh, let's see if she'll come up in safe mode. Okay, that's good. You got the second beep. Okay, I have the controller connected. Let's see, can I... What if I just try... Reset PS5. Let's try Reset PS5. Maybe something's corrupted. I don't know. I've never seen that message before. Thought I'd try this first. If that doesn't do it, then I'll do a reinstall on the software. But it can give me the the normal desktop. Okay, this looks somewhat normal. Okay, maybe we're okay then. Okay, all right, we're normal setup. So this thing is erased or what? Okay, maybe things aren't as bad as they seem. Thought we had some major corruption there for a second. Okay. Maybe it's got a bad power supply then. All right. Well, I still have not made it inside. I'm still looking at this console out here in the garage. I do have a power supply to fix. We do know the power supply is dead. But we have another problem, a slightly bigger problem. It is in IDU mode, uh, interactive display unit. So this thing is in the mode of what it would be if it was in a kiosk of some kind, in a, in a store or something. And I know there's a combination of keys to get into that mode. I'm not sure if that's what somebody did or if they were trying to hack it in some way. And I have reset it and reset it and I still can't get out of IDU mode. So uh, what I'm going to have to do, I believe, is take the um, BIOS chip off the board in here and modify a certain field of it, a certain offset. There's a byte I need to change. And I'm hoping that gets it out of this mode. Never done that before. Never had to. Haven't run into one yet until now that was in this mode. But I know that's what it is because I've, I've had it. If I if I you know hook it to the internet, it'll start downloading the uh, IDU packages and stuff. But uh, it's not very helpful. So I have a feeling we have a main board in, in IDU mode and we have a dead power supply. This is somebody's uh, pile of parts, as I like to say. Their pile of junk that they have sold me. Because I doubt the power supply quit and it was an IDU mode at the same time. So somebody, I think, threw their dead supply into a motherboard they couldn't get working and sold it to some sucker on eBay. And that would be me. So anyway, um, let me get this board out and see if we can fix this IDU mode issue. I'm hoping. I'm hopeful we can. Because uh, otherwise it's not much good to me. Let's get to it.
All right, our uh, BIOS has been read in from the uh, IC. And the offset that we are interested in is 01C9600. And this is just a simple uh, hex editor, free program. Uh, let's see if we can say search. Uh, go to. And one C nine six zero zero. See what we have there. I, see, I keep typing too many zeros. Try ninety six hundred. All right, and we can see that there is a zero one. This byte right here is what we're looking at. Zero one which apparently means IDU mode on and I'm not sure whether to change this to FF or 00 to turn it off I'm seeing some conflicting information about that let's try hmm, let's try 00 if I can 00 and we'll save that out and write it back to this uh, memory IC. And let's see what that gets us. All right, after uh, modifying that one byte, wrote it back to the uh, flash memory IC and I've put it back on the board. And as you can see, we appear to be out of IDU mode and I think looking normally. Well, we've dodged that little bullet. So let's see now if we can maybe fix that power supply and get this repair completed. How's that sound? All right, well, here we are back inside at the workbench. Ready to move on with this power supply repair. And I have spared you the trouble of watching me struggle to get this thing open. I have pried it open. Of course, took the antenna off first. And let's just see if we can bring this thing back to life. I have not discharged any capacitors yet, so I'm gonna be very careful. I don't recommend people do this unless you're very familiar working on these things because they are dangerous. But danger is my middle name. So, now I will go ahead and discharge these capacitors because I have had it plugged up recently out there in the garage. See if we have any power on there. None whatsoever. If there's no power, that usually means the fuse is blown. Let's see if that's the case. Continuity mode. I've gotten my leads all tangled up here. Okay. Fuse. And yep, the fuse is open. No, it's not. I'm wrong. The fuse is good. Okay. Well, if it's not the fuse, I don't know what it is. Uh, just kidding. Let's see, what else do we have here? This supply looks different from some of them I've had in the past. I'm not sure what it is, it just looks different. Do we have sh shorted MOSFETs right in here? No. <clears throat> Do we have an open fusible resistor? That one right down in there. R9. I think it's R9. I think that's the one I want to check. Seems to be good. So, no shorts on the output? Let's see. No. Output's not shorted. Fuse isn't blown. 
Fusible resistor is not open. Do we have a bad DAP 53? Okay. Well, there's no shorts and no opens. Let me dig out my notes. The DAP 53. And this is a 400DR. Well, that's good. My notes were taken on a DR. Okay, red probe on the common negative port of that capacitor. Let me turn this. Looking for pin 1. Really hard to tell. I think I see it here, up in this corner. So let's turn like this. That looks right. That's what that looks right. Pin three. Yep, pin four is ground. Yep. Pin five. Pin six. Seven is no connection. Eight, 1.49, that looks right. Nine, that looks uh, pretty close. Pin 10, that looks right. 11, that looks fine. 12 is no connection. 13, 664. 14, 62, 15. 16. That looks totally normal. What's going on here? Maybe I'll get some power into this thing. Let's make sure it is truly dead, but didn't seem to work out there. Well, I've been looking over this board, taking some voltage readings, and I want to well, I want to go over something in the data sheet with you. Here's the pinout for that DAP53. And what I'm noticing is here on pin 13. Um, I'm measuring about 3 volts and that voltage comes from, that's, this is the supply voltage into the IC. Um, for initial startup, it, it should internally come from this pin, pin 8, which has about 170 volts on it. This goes back to the bridge rectifier and that should charge up this circuit over here for startup. Like I said, I've got about uh, 3 volts there and if I can show you Go down in the data sheet, right there, starter voltage. That pin has to get to about 19 volts to be able to start. So yeah, we're not gonna run at three volts. Um, so let me get set back up and take a look at what we're actually getting. All right, we're gonna be taking a look around this DAP53. Let me get some AC power, AC voltages into it right now, 120 volts AC. Let me show you negative probe on this negative side of this large capacitor. Um, if I go to pin 13, 16, 15, 14, 13 right here, 2.95 volts. And what's responsible for the initial startup is, is the voltage going to pin 8, which is hooked to a 1K resistor right over here. I can measure it right here at the chip. 167 volts, that looks fine. So internally, there should be a supply taking that 167 and making or you know 19, 20 volts, whatever, over here. And that's not happening. And I don't seem to see any shorts. The diode ring looks right on that pin. I don't see anything loading it down external to the chip. I think it's internal to the chip. Um, so yeah, I think we got a bad DAP53. So let's change it out.
All right. Well, our DAP53 has been changed out. There's our old chip. And let's see if we've done any good with this. I uh, have my load set for 6 amps constant current. Um, yeah, clarity is correct. Oh, this focus. Come on, focus. Deal with it. Um, I think we're ready. Uh, let's get some AC power on. There we go. 12 volts. All right. We are working once again. Okay. Uh, this thing doesn't really need any cleanup. It's so clean inside. Uh, let me get it back together. And we'll go out there in the garage and put this back in the chassis and see if we uh, can get this whole system back up and running. Well, here we are back out in the garage. Our, our console has been reassembled. Our new, our, not new, our re repair power supply has been reinstalled. Uh, and the console seems to be out of IDU mode. And we are installing a PS5 game right now, Resident Evil 4. So I think we're going to be in good shape. Um, I'm not sure how this thing got in that mode, but um, anyway, I'm glad I was able to get it out of it. And I think that's why uh, when I first plugged this thing in, it powered up on its own. I think that's part of that IDU mode. It will do that because it's meant to be in a retail environment where it's in like a kiosk of some kind. So it just automatically powers up. Well, anyway, I thought that was, I hope that was somewhat interesting or educational or entertaining. If it was, please give me a thumbs up. And I will see you in the very next repair. So long for now.